Hello and welcome from Camp For You campsite in Wrocław or just south of Wrocław, Poland. And here we have a motorhome sales point, which is new, currently stocking Remo and hopefully uh, there'll be others. So uh, this is just some, some of the range which is here. And the fact that there's stock is is pretty good in the current uh, climate. Anyway, we're gonna have a look at this one here. This is a motorhome which will sleep seven and sit six. It's the Evo Sound, and there's the price. Uh, but that's in Zwater, 276, sorry, 279,000 uh, Zwater, which is approximately 56,000 euros, approximately. Uh, that's done in my head. And uh, let's have a look at it. See, I've got, the, I've got the key, as you can see. I left the key in the door deliberately. And uh, let's just go inside. Now, when you come inside the van, the first thing you might want to do is turn the lights on. So let's go up here. Uh, now, there's a very curious feature actually here because it comes, you've got a place down here to turn the lights on, which I think this is quite clever. We've got two places. So that's like sort of convenient. What with me being sort of old fashioned, I'll still go to this thing up here. So we press that. Uh, one of the problems is I can see now how it's, it's connected to uh, shore power, the mains, and the light switch is all, you can't see it. There's one here and the other one's here. There you go. So, there, so they're on. You can also use this down here. Uh, a couple of other interesting switches are in this position. So we've got, um, it's got un underfloor heating and it's got the waste water heating as well. Why would you want waste water heated? Well, it's just in case you fancy drinking it, of course. Who would want to drink cold waste water? Alternatively, it's to stop it freezing in winter. Now, okay, I said sleep seven, and so uh, this time I've got a bit of a chance to prepare things, and I prepared the bed for you. So you can see what a bed looks like, but of course on this side you'd normally put the dinette. So you've got a backward facing, a rear facing bench. You've got here a forward facing bench. And you've got this place here as well to sit at. So seven sleeping places. Where are they? Two there, two there, one here, and two bunk beds in this position as well. So uh, let's now sort of come right down to the front. Right, so first of all, we've got this bunk. Uh, up here, sort of a traditional sort of way in an over cab, and this uh, this will also go lift up oh. if you want to. And that gives you more room when you're in the driving position. And uh, I'm always on about banging your head, and that's a way of stopping your head getting banged. Uh, okay, here I left this in this position deliberately, and see, but you can see you can you can uh, it, there's a space to that that will that will fold fold over. And that will make a bed there. Now, what we've got here, this bed has been made. So uh, you can see how the uh, the seat belt is here. And that would normally be there in, when it's in driving position. And the back here would go there uh, as well. Now, and so we've got down here, there's the, there's the table, which will come up and you can see from this how the table holds everything in position like that so it holds it up like that uh what's it like sleeping in one of these things well you know it's better than nothing i wouldn't i don't suppose i'd want a bed like this in in my home but uh it's it's you know it's definitely it's better than nothing it won't be as comfortable as the one up here though which is a proper bed um anyway um there's Sleep, I said si seats six, so you've got two two there, two forward, of course, that's four, and the other two are here, so there's the there's the seat belt. Seat belt are down there, as you can see. Sleep sitting uh, six. Right, so we've got a rather, well, elegant, I think it looks all right. There you are, storage up here, etc. And on the other side as well. One uh, positive point is a rather large uh, wardrobe, which 
switches there. Uh, the space up here is meant for your, your television. Uh, fridge is 100 and 141, 141 litres, as I recall. And I'll have a look at that in a bit later. A sort of standard fridge. And there's your freezer compartment. And you've got a bit more storage above. Oh, that's tough. It's new. And here we've got the beds. All right, so two bunk beds. So one bunk bed with two sleeping places. That seems more logical. How oh, a bunk bed with a bunk beds, whatever. And rear uh, washroom. So we'll go in here right now and have a look at the washroom. So, okay. Um, now, one thing I would have to point out. Where's the light switch? Um, I thought I'd turn all the lights on. Well, anyway, there's a light switch somewhere, and uh, I'll find it later. One thing I do need to point out, of course, you've got seven people in here, that's a standard cassette, and uh, uh, you're going to be emptying it non stop. When I'm on campsites, such as here, I empty my cassette toilet every single day. Well, it's because I'm on a campsite, I don't have to, but um, you know, I've, when I'm Three every uh, three days. Um, I think I think I would have to if there was two of us in there. So if you've got seven people, it's like twice a day you're going to be going down to the 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 the, the, the to empty the cassette. You may think, well, I won't be using. I'll just use a campsite, so I will use the the uh, toilet. Well, that'd be fair enough. Now, one point I did mention here was this. Here, all right, so you can turn it on and off like that. So there we go. So that goes on like that. It's supposed to go on like that. Hey, I'll try it again. Okay. You see what what's happened? It's just it's turned this one here on. So if I turn that off like that, that's what is wrong. And I uh, pretend I've just come in now. Turn this on here. And that now is up there. There we go. You see, just turn the lights on here instead. There we go. Turns the lights on. And there's the lights there as well. So that gives you a quick. Did not turn the thing on in here. No, I didn't. I still don't know where the light is there. But well, let's just pretend there is a light in there somewhere. Um, I really think with seven people, though, I mean, if it'd been me that had designed this, I'd have, well, I'd have done. I'd have got rid of that there. Although, of course, there's only four people around the table then, wouldn't there? So, um, and six sleep six, and I'd have put some wardrobes or something there, or. Or something of that nature. Anyway, that's how I would see, I would see it. Um, the for a large family, yeah, well, fair enough. It might might just work. A number of people ask, mainly in India, ask me for vans or motorhomes and sleep. A lot of people. Well, there you go. The maximum I know of currently on our main um, manufacturer is eight, and this type of layout with seven is. Uh, Obviously, that's the second highest number of people. Good. So uh, there, there's a, there's your um, skylights, and I'll take you for a walk around the outside as well. Oh, I didn't show you the kitchen. Oh, the kitchen's quite standard. Nothing uh, out of the ordinary there. And you have a look at that. That goes there. Right, well, people have asked me to sort of show them what's written on these things here, but I mean, it's written in Polish, so I presume that people, most people won't understand what it says. So I shall, I shall have a quick look at it, and then I'll tell you what it says. So this is coming here with a, uh, well, if you get it from here, you'll get the get a, the gas installation plus, plus a bottle with it. It's got a, it's got a packet high vision 2. Uh, which is the out, outer, um, uh, extra outer um, lighting. Um, here's a packet, a brown packet, which includes the Moschettiera, which is this thing here. There you, there you go. It includes the um, um, covers for the seats. It concludes um, oc oc uh, the um, ah, door. There you go. The window in the door and um, 
the the nets for the birds and uh ah and the solar but but um it includes the um uh the 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 preparation for the solar panels but not the solar panels but as 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 a motorhome goes i'd have to say that this is pretty uh this uh, this really is it's pretty it's comparatively uh it really is comparatively cheap so um and this is all on a three and a half ton basis so of course you've got seven people in here uh, it's not so much how much the people weigh it's all the stuff they bring with them as well so that that really would take you over if i remember rightly this is around 3150 kilos approximately uh, uh maybe just a bit less when it's empty as it is now so uh you've been warned about the amount of people you can carry uh here we've got uh oh can't open them so it's this here it's the central locking there you go you heard that so let's hopefully it'll open, it'll open now yeah. so that opens that opens oh and that's a two two level you see and uh here so, so you've got a bit of storage down there as well uh, let's have a look around the outside so i'll close this as i'm going oh no i won't have to reach up there i'll just do it from here there you go and let's have a look around the outside Close up. Oh, what's oh, what's closed probably? Sorry, we are looked at it. Well, we're not going to get around there, but we'll have a walk around here. Uh... Now, what is um? don't see this used to see this quite often we don't see it so much these days it's that the garage where the bunks are uh that can that sorry that can be a garage if you wanted it so you could put the bunks to one side or you could actually remove it and that would be a garage of course it's a rather uh unstandard way of doing things but uh well it's uh you might you might fancy something like oh you might even have a use for the bunks so you might occasionally want to use the bunks and other times for carrying stuff around with you and the cabinet uh, here obviously is the gas the gas cabinet at the side so I'll just have a quick look at one or two other these other vehicles I'll have a look at them from the outside uh, there's uh, one which I find is it, it's a particularly interesting is there's a rear lounge one we'll have a I'll have I'll do that in a separate video, and uh, there's the camper van. Now, um, I do always say to people to rent rather than buy. So you rent first and then you buy. So you can, obviously this is a rental company as well, so do rentals and um, uh, purchases. And uh, the, as I think I said this, but if I didn't, um, the price in Poland is uh, it's, it's probably a bit more than in Germany. But if things were bought for export, then where it's okay, um, it depends on where it's going. But it might not even be VAT, but there wouldn't be excise on it anyway. So, but having said that, it could be going to a country where the excise was even worse than this here. I know, for example, is it Norway or is it Sweden, where it's extremely high? Anyway, good, so that's giving you a bit of an idea. I come here quite frequently, I've got a number of videos which I did uh, from uh, Camp For You. So I'm here about, what, once every nine months or something like that. And uh, I'm here currently because tomorrow we have a sort of a, a, an event in a cafe to talk about van life. So that's what I'm gonna be that's what I'm going, I'm going to be doing. So, um, thanks for watching. You can see uh, this Remo uh, Evo Sound sleeps seven, sits six, and that's what it looks like from the outside. So, all the best from me from Wrocław in Poland.